Good morning, everybody. Now we got to do a little bit of trace repair. Yesterday, uh, Saturday, my granddaughter installed this IC socket, and we put a brand new TD62107P in the IC socket. Uh, I've got it drawn out right here. I like to do that. Whenever I have an IC short circuit, this is it right here. And you can tell. Let me see if I can get in the camera here. See if you can see it. the IC cracked open right there. Can you see that? That IC shorted and burst open there in the middle. <laughs> Whenever you have something like that, you have to check the traces uh, on the input side and on the output side. This is a driver IC right here, the TD62107P. Uh, and it goes to this connector right here on the bottom. Let me flip it up so you can see it. There's two ribbon connectors right here, one on top and one on the bottom. And it goes to this bottom one right here on uh, pins A15, B15, A16, and B16. Uh, A being on top and B being on the bottom row. And I found that I have traces from output four, output three, output two to their respective pins on that bottom connector, but I don't have continuity from output one to A15. Uh, this right here, the FANUC ZICO, is this large IC right here and it turns on all of these driver ICs connected to these two output connectors right here the ribbon connector let me move this out of the way and I'll show you the blown trace if I can get close enough Let's see if I get in the camera right here and can you see that right there can you see that trace is scorched that's the blown trace and it goes to pin A15 on that bottom connector we're going to repair that blown trace Show you a close up of my drawing. Right there is the trace that opened up between pin 15 of that shorted driver IC and pin A15 on the C54 ribbon connector. Now, luckily, it didn't shoot back through the driver IC and wipe out the output pin 69 on that FANUC IC. If it did that, I'd be done because I can't get that FANUC IC. They won't sell it to you. They'll sell you a whole new board, but they won't sell you individual FANUC ICs. All right, let's repair that trace. I'll show you how to do that. It's real easy, nothing to it. going to use this wire wrap wire to replace the blown trace from C54 ribbon connector pin A15 and output 1 pin 15 of the TD62107P. I have a wire wrap tool and inside the wire wrap tool, the barrel of the wire wrap tool, is a insulation stripper. That's used to remove the insulation from the wire wrap. Picture of this before we repair it. I always like to get a picture of the work that I do. Let's get a picture of that drawing. Let's get 
closer. Right there, you can see the blown trace. That's the one we're going to fix. I'm going to unsolder. A15, then we're going to connect this wire wrap wire to that pin. Now we got to be careful. We don't want to we don't want to connect it to any other pins there. <laughs> we'll be creating a short circuit. solder off so that that helps me hook the wire wrap wire to the pin just like that right there Maybe a little twist right there now I hold it with this finger I put the solder between my thumb and index finger. And now everybody is soldered to the pin. Okay, that's the one side. Let's go get the other side. Okay, here's the IC socket that my granddaughter soldered in yesterday. And we want to go to pin 15. Let's flip it over and find out where pin 1 is so we don't solder it to the wrong side. Okay. There's the IC. This is pin 1 right here. So when we flip it back over, pin 1 is going to be on the farthest side away from us. And we want to solder it to pin 15 right here. That will be the second one down. Okay, let's get back over. Here it is right here. Remember, pin one is on the farthest away from us. So we want to go to this pin right here. Let's take a little bit of that solder off out there so we can hook onto it. Get that excess solder off of there. Extra, so you can route that wire the way you want it. That'll be enough right there. Strip the insulation off with this tool. There we go. Let's give it a little bit of a hook so we can hook on to that. IC socket pin. That's the one we want to go to. Right there. Yeah, extra hook around there so it don't come undone. Now hold it with your third finger. Grab your solder with your thumb and index finger. Your third finger holds the wire so it don't pop off that pin. Can you all see that right there? I'm in the way again. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we're solid on there. I'll get my wire routed the way I want it so it looks nice. to use some hot glue to hold that down so it don't get caught on nothing and ripped out. There we go. That looks good. Uh, here's pin A15 on the bottom connector. And here's pin 15 
on the TD-62107. Get a picture of that finished work right there. Check our work. Let's flip it over to the other side. You always want to check your work. Let's throw our meter in here. Check continuity from pin 15 to A15 on the bottom connector. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. We've got continuity. Good deal. We fixed it. Let me go ahead and show you how to test this IC for short circuits while we're here. Now, these pins, 4 and 5, and 12 and 13, they're all ground get in beep mode here so you can see that they're all ground. They're all connected together. There's four, five, and thirteen. There's twelve, five, and four. They're all ground. Now put your meter in diode test mode. Put that light on so we can see what's going on here. And you want to put your red lead on ground. Just go around, there's pin one. We got 0 0.530. Pin two, we have 0.591. Those are good diode drops. Here's pin three, 0.591. Now we know that four and five is ground, so we're gonna skip five. Go to six. There's a good diode drop, 0.591. Here's pin seven, 0.591. Pin 8, that's enable 2 bar, so that's tied to ground. It's always enabled on that one pin. Here's pin 9, 0.562. Pin 10, 0.572. Pin 11, 0.571, those are good diode drops. 12 and 13 are ground. 14.571, 15.572, and 16, that's VCC, 0.383, good diode drops. Move this out of the way, and let's look at the IC that was in there, the one that got blown. Here it is. I cut it off the board. I wasn't going to try and save it. It was... Uh, it was beyond repair. That's the one that had the little explosion punched through the top of the IC. Here's pin one. Uh, don't have much pin to get on. It's going to be a little difficult. Okay, I got my red lead on pin four ground. Here's pin one. 0.725. Pin two. 0.723. Pin three. 0.722, those are all good diode drops. Let me flip around. Red lead on pin four, we know five is ground. Oop, I'm slipping off again. <laughs> Come on, stay on there. Here's pin six, 0.724, that's good. Pin seven, 0.725, good diode drop. Pin eight, that's the enable two, bar. 0.726, that's good. Here's pin 9. 0.578. Pin 9. 0.572, that's good. Pin 11. 0.576, that's good. Did you notice over here on this side, they were all 0.7s, and over here we got 0.5s. So there's a little bit going on over here. Good diode drops, but... A little odd that it's different from the other side. Now, we know pin 15 had the blown trace, didn't it? So, 
we can figure out before we even put anything on there, before we even diode drop it with our meter, we're going to know that's shorted. So 12 and 13 are ground. We don't need to test that. Here's 14. Whoa. 0.048 of M14 is shorted. 0.048. Let's see what 15, 15 is. Look at that. That's shorted too. 0 0.017. That's shorted. That's not a good diode drop. Let's check the VCC pin. Oh, look at that. 0 0.018. That's shorted too. Oh, man. Okay. So this end up here was blown. They're going to have to check their machine because something out there in the machine pulled too much current through those outputs, through those driver outputs, and blew this IC. So even though we've fixed the board, if we don't check the machine to see what shorted those two outputs, we're going to pop this IC too and maybe open up a couple of more traces. <laughs> so we're done here in the shop. But they got a little bit more work to do over at the machine. <laughs> I got to find out what's shorted out there at the machine that pulled too much current through this driver IC. All right, folks. Thank you for stopping by and watching us fix that FANUC board. We'll see you next time.